That's right, Glenda. And imagine what it's like tonight not to have electricity, not to be able to turn those fans and air conditioners on. And it's warm out here. Check this out. 84 degrees is the temperature at this very moment, but it feels even hotter than that because of the humidity. Take all the food out. Wassam Mansour shows us what's left of the food in his fridge. Pretty much nothing. It's almost we empty everything. The lights started flickering around 3 this afternoon, and then the power pretty much went completely out to stay cool on a sweltering hot day and night. This family filled up the kiddie pool. It's hot. It's, it was like 95 degrees out, two AC in the house. They were on, and they went out, so I put all the kids outside hey, playing baby, with the water. Uh, across the street, same story. Lots of hot kids and parents. Luckily, these guys have an even bigger pool and a mom with a great attitude. <laughs> we have to do what we have to do. I mean, there's nothing we can do. All we did was call DTE. They told us 1 o'clock tonight. And we're hoping that it'll come sooner, but we don't know. DTE says a primary distribution line went down this afternoon, taking out almost 1,000 users. Kind of a small number, unless you're one of them. Everything out. I, I just come home now. I don't see no air conditioning, no light, no nothing. It's kind of hot in here, huh? Hot, very hot. I can't stay in the house. Yeah, very hot here on Berwyn, just south of Warren in Dearborn Heights. It's kind of funny, too, like just behind me here, you can see there's no electricity in that house. But right over here next door, they've got a little bit of power, but not enough to run their air conditioners. So it's pretty frustrating. It's like just a little bit, but not enough. Hopefully we get the power on here soon. DTE is saying about 1 a.m. this morning. We'll wait and see. Reporting live in Dearborn Heights, I'm Tom Way, Channel 7 Action News. Glenda, back to you.